Let me take you through the tapping points one more time. You saw Rick Wilkes show it in the movie, and you can go back to that part of the movie. I think if you haven't noticed, you can go to the different chapters and just jump to the part that you want to focus on. But I just want to go through the sequence one more time so everybody gets it and, and go over it. So there's a lot of variations, and everybody puts their own spin on it, but this is the most basic EFT. If you have something going on right now, this is what you can do. Okay? You start with the side of the hand, and you start tapping on the karate chop point, and you say, even though, and you list the problem, I have this neck pain, even though I'm angry at my mother, even though I'm frustrated about what's happening at work. If you have, let's say you have back pain. So even though I have this back pain, I deeply and completely accept myself. And you want to repeat that three times. Even though I have this back pain, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though my back really hurts, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now, I changed the words on the last one. Why? It doesn't really matter. What you're trying to do is you're trying to bring the energy of what's happening into your consciousness, into your body. So if you're focused on the back pain, if you're talking about the back pain, it's going to work. So you do that three times, and that is the setup statement. Okay? So you, I did back pain, you can do it on anything else that's going on. So if you're angry at somebody, even though I'm angry at this person, even though I'm frustrated, even though I have this pain, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay? And that's the most basic setup statement. Now there are variations like you can say, even though I have this problem, I choose to relax. That's Pat Carrington's choices method. I choose to feel good, I'm okay. The idea is find something that works for you that you feel comfortable with, and then learn and explore more about the other different methods and how to do it. So, once you've done the setup statement, you move on to the points. Now, some people start at the top of the head, and you saw in the movie that we start tapping on the top of the head. Some people start at the eyebrow point. Doesn't make a difference. Let's say for the sake of doing it the way the movie does, top of the head. And what you do is you repeat what you said earlier as a reminder phrase. So you might say this back pain, okay? This back pain. Now the eyebrow point, as we said, right at the edge of the eyebrow, this back pain. Side of the eye, this back pain. Now you can change it up if you want a little bit. You can say this back pain. You can say it really hurts under the eye. It's driving me crazy, okay? That's some more. You can vary it up to what you want to express about it. But if not, the basic, again, this back pain. This back pain under the mouth of the chin point. Collarbone, this back pain. Now some people are like, where exactly is the collarbone? Get it right. Get close to the collarbone. Use your whole hands. Tap around. You're not going to miss it. Okay? Just tap around. You'll get it. You can use both hands if you want anything. And you say, this back pain. You do it under the arm. About three inches under the arm. This back pain. Okay? Now if you start in the eyebrow, then you finish at the top of the head. This back pain. Take a deep breath and let it go. And tune in to what are you feeling? How was the back pain? Did it go down? So let's say it went down from a 9 to a 7. You have a couple choices here. You can say, I'm going to do that same round again and say, even though I have this back pain, and keep tapping on it until it goes down. And sometimes people will find that just doing three or four rounds, you go from a 7 to a 5 to a 3 to a 0, the back pain's gone. Now if you find that it gets, you get stuck on it and nothing seems to happen, try changing it up a little bit. So stop and think, okay, my back pain's at a 7, it's not moving anywhere. What might this represent? Am I angry at somebody at work? You know, when I close my eyes and I think about my back and the pain in there, what do I see? Do I see colors and shapes and sounds or do I get a memory? Anything, you know, you're really being a detective and trying to search for how might these, this be connected to something that's going on in my life. So let's say I close my eyes and I think about this back pain. All of a sudden an image pops right in about my boss at work. And, oh, they really, he's just been a real jerk recently. He's been pissing me off, okay? So what am I going to do? I'm going to say, even though my boss is driving me crazy, I deeply and completely accept myself. Or, even though my boss is driving me crazy and my back really hurts, and it might be connected, I deeply and completely accept myself. And you go through there and you say, my boss, my anger at my boss. And again, this is, you know, a little bit of a detective. So you've got to tune into yourself and work with it and keep trying and keep trying variations. The thing about EFT is, Try one thing, see how it works, move on to something else. Find a practitioner if you get stuck. Go to a workshop if you get stuck. Watch a DVD if you get stuck and just keep learning about it. It's a process. It's not just a magical process of you tap and it goes. Sometimes it does. But it's a process about uncovering what's going on in you and your life. And I think that's one of the reasons why in the film we covered so many things about childhood and limiting beliefs because it's not just about the tapping. It's about the tapping but connecting the tapping with these events that have gone on in your life. And that's what you're looking to do. So for your first experience, go for it. Just go and tap and do the basic sequence. So let me take you through the points just one more time so you see them. You have karate chop point, 
for the setup statement, and you say even though, the setup statement, an eyebrow point, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the chin, collarbone, you can do two hands, you can do one hand, under the arm. You can do one side, you can do the other side about three inches under the arm, on top of the head. So even though I can't let go of this anger, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm really angry at my boss, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though my boss is driving me crazy, I deeply and completely accept myself. My boss. My anger. My anger at my boss. It's driving me crazy. I'm angry at my boss. I just can't seem to let it go. All this anger. All this anger at my boss. Let it go and tune back into it, what's happened. And you can also do, you know, some people, a lot of people have the questions, well, why am I doing the negative versus the positive? I don't want to say negative affirmation. And as we mentioned in the movie, by saying the negative, you're not reinforcing it, you're clearing it. Because you're bringing it up, it exists. If you're angry at your boss, it's there, it's in your body. It exists, you bring it forward, you bring it to the surface, you bring it to the priority of your conscious and subconscious mind, and then you tap on it. So you say this anger, this anger. Now you can do, a lot of people like to do one round of the negative and then one round of the positive. Just with the tapping again. So you say, I'm releasing this anger. I'm releasing this anger at my boss. I'm letting it all go. I'm letting go of this anger. I can let go of this anger. I choose to let go of this anger. I'm free of this anger. I'm happy and free of all this anger at my boss. Take a deep breath and let it go. 